Hey guys, welcome back. It's Chimney Swift here from the Minecraft Workbench community. And this is episode 25 of the Minecraft Files. And today we're going to be taking two more video requests. And the first one comes from Gazin Player 1. And he wants me to turn this little area here with the slabs into a seating area. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Alright, so we're going to take these slabs and we're gonna make um, we're gonna make a table no not a pressure plate we don't want a pressure plate we want we want wooden slabs so we're gonna make let's see two wooden slabs all right now to make a little table you just can come over here like this put a uh, fence there put the wooden slab or whatever kind of slab you want on there. We're going to make a little table and chairs here. So yeah, we need some smooth stone. And these are going to be the seats. So we have a little wooden table with the, oh well my ce ceiling is too low here so I can't really get on the the chair but uh, this is a nice little breakfast area um, right next to the shower room so thank you Gazin player one for sending in that video request now the next thing we're gonna do is well this request comes from minecraft 77 and he wants me to make minecart boosters so what we're going to do is we're going to make a minecart system that goes all the way over to my original Pueblo. So to make minecart mine tracks, you take sticks like this. Nope, sorry. You take uh, you one stick in the middle and you do iron up the sides like this. So six iron makes 16 rail. And I'm going to need to convert these iron blocks into iron ingots. So we're going to need a lot of track. Alright. So let's just keep making some more until this stack runs out. Because we're going to need a lot of minecart track. Cart track goes pretty quick. At least in my, in my experience. Okay, so this should be enough. So let's go outside here and let's start laying down the track. Now I did do some improvements to my house. I added some pine wood. I went out and got some pine wood, added that to the walls here. And so I think that looks pretty nice. But let's do, let's start a minecart station right here. And we'll just go this way. Oops. So you just right click to lay this stuff down. Now I'll show you guys how to make the boosters in a minute. Let's just get the track down for right now. Uh oh. I hear a spider somewhere. So we're just making a little trail here. A little track. It's going to get us where we need to go. It looks like I made quite a bit more than needed, but that's okay. Alright, perfect. So let's put a uh, little stopper at the end here. And let's use a wooden slab. Why not? Uh, probably looks kind of cool. Perfect. All right. Well, it's getting dark, so let's run back to the house because we gotta go back there anyway, so I can show you guys the booster. And uh, we can sleep the night away and avoid this creeper. Actually, let's go sleep in the barracks over here. The fortified bunker that is the barracks. 
And let's pick uh, this bed. Nope, let's pick this bed. Let's get in the top bunk. Close our eyes and just... Oh, 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 oh no. And die, apparently. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, well, what happened was I woke up in the morning and bashed my head against the roof because my roof was too short. And I died. So don't sleep on the top bunk. Actually, tell your friends to sleep on the top bunk. You don't sleep on the top bunk. You tell your friends, and when they wake up in the morning, they'll die. Well, that was just that was just great. That was stupid. Well, now I know I have to raise the roof on the barracks, and we will definitely do that. I will probably do that offline. But uh, that was not fun. It's not a good way to wake up. Well, all right. So let's grab all our stuff then. So yeah, this uh, you can't stand on the, the bed here. So anywhere you can't stand on a bed, don't sleep in it because when you wake up, you're gonna die. All right, so let's get let's get reorganized here just a little bit. Oh boy, that was unplanned and very very stupid. Oh well, it happens, I guess. Okay, so. Now that we are back to life and we've recovered, let's let's go make these minecart boosters. Now, what you're gonna need to make a booster is you're gonna need another cart. So let's extend this track a little bit. And um, so let's go make some mine carts here. We may have to do a two part video. But to make a mine cart, you just do it's the same formula as a boat. Uh, it's just. Let's see. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh boy. It's a mess right now. Gotta get a grip. That death shook me up a little bit. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're going to dig out a pit like this. Just go just down a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna make mine a little further down. And you're gonna do the same on the other side. So this is going to pop off the minecart tracks we already laid down, but that's okay. Because we will just lay them down one more time. So let's lay these down. You want to always lay down your original track first. And that was not what I wanted to do. That was what I wanted to do. Okay. So now our booster track is going to only be ha about half of this. So the booster track is going to come like this. The cart will be down here. And I'll show you here where the cart will go. This is the booster cart there. And that's going to be pushed up against this wall. And when you ride your cart down here, it'll, when two carts touch, they kind of the energy transfers. And so this is going to shoot your cart this way. And then we're going to loop this track back around. So we're going to loop this up here like this. And let's test this out first to make sure it works. So you're going to loop it around. That should, yeah, essentially fall back down. You can make it go like that too. So this is a very, very simple minecart booster design and it resets itself so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot all the way down to the opposite end so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our minecart here we're gonna place it there we're gonna bump into it and right click now the booster uh oh a little pig was in the way let's get him out of here so he doesn't do that again it worked it's just the pig the piggy Okay. So 
what this card is going to do is it's going to boost this this way. So get in, you bump, and you right click. See this card just pushes us around. The card resets itself, and off we go. Very simple. It's a manual way of doing this. And there we are. So that is a minecart booster and you can build one on both sides like this um, you can build one that goes you know this way and does the exact same thing and goes back um, they're very very easy to make um, so let's do that one more time I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like um, we may do it in a more advanced video for the minecart booster later um, there are different ways you can do them there are um, dual, you know, uh, directional minecart boosters. But um, I'll just push this cart here, and you can essentially see what the minecart does. So you push it there, and this cart resets itself as my other one runs away, and it won't go all the way there because there's no weight in it. And swords, uh, swords actually kill minecarts on um, on one hit. So usually if you punch it with your fist it takes a little while to break it but if you have a sword in your hand any sword it'll kill it on one hit so that saves a little bit of time and this is basically my basic tutorial on how to build a minecart booster and off we go and we will see you guys in episode 26 of the minecraft files alright thanks guys talk to you later bye